Hi, in this quick video, I have a mouse here. It does not right click anymore. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to solve this problem. Now, obviously one would have checked the battery and that the mouse still works. Sometimes the little connector there, especially if you're using rechargeable batteries, doesn't make contact. So I'm assuming you've obviously checked that. Now, the first step on this particular mouse is to disassemble it. Now, this one is easy. All I have to do is slide up the top by just putting my fingernails in there or you could use a knife or a screwdriver and then I grab it like that and then I pull towards the front of the mouse and then I slide this up, pull towards the front of the mouse and then I have now opened the front cover. Now the reason why it's not right clicking is twofold. Either the little switch here has got dirt in it and it is no longer working, meaning that somebody spilled juice here. I can actually see some residue of liquid, and what has happened is somebody has spilled something, or, or over time it has oxidized, and the switch no longer works. So what one can do is spray in a switch cleaner. This is a contact cleaner, it's a deoxidizer. It is not oil. This is not a lubricant, it's not an oil. There are many different manufacturers who make such a thing. And all I do is I take the switch cleaner and spray it on the button just a little bit, one and two, and then I then test the button again. Right, I'm just going to bounce the button with my screwdriver just to get that contact cleaner to clean inside there and then I can go and test the mouse. Now in this case that was the problem but in your case it may be a faulty button or a button that has come off the circuit board. Now I'll show you the second solution. What I need to do is actually open the entire mouse to get to the button. Now every mouse is different. On this particular mouse there's a little hidden screw here so you'll have to check how to disassemble your mouse because all the mouse are different and then I can slide that open just being very careful. You might find there's a ribbon cable attaching the bottom to the top and if you pull it you might tear that electrical conductor and I just slide that out. There were no cables attaching the top to the bottom. On more elaborate mice you'll find that there are cables so I can remove this roller and there are my switches and there are my other switches. So my right click is this one and my left click is that one. Now in order to check the solder joints, I need to get to the bottom of this little circuit board. So I need to unclip this. You might find there's little clips on either side. There may even be a screw. So just look out for a screw. In this case, I just have to unclip it. And there it's sliding out. And at the bottom, I can now see the solder joins for the switch. There, there, and there. And on this side, it's there, there, and there. What I'm looking for is a what we call a dry joint, which means there is solder there, but the wire in the middle has actually broken away from the solder joint. So what I would then need to do is switch on a soldering iron. Now to repair a button that has come undone by the solder, I need a soldering iron and I'll quickly demonstrate how I'll fix a dry joint. Right, these are the three joints for the switch and over there these are the three joints for the other switch. I could wobble the switch, you might even find the wire in the center of the joint moves and all I need to do is take my soldering iron and re-solder the joint. So I would take my soldering iron for example, put it on the joint and then put some fresh solder there and re-solder the joint. There we can see I've re-soldered it. You could then go and check all the joints that are related to the switch and then go and retest your switch. When you are reassembling, just look out for any switches that might need to mate with any switches on the circuit board. We don't want to put it in in a way that damages the switch. Now while I'm here, I can just put some on the other two switches, which are the switches for the roller. Right, so I've demonstrated two methods for solving a switch problem using the contact cleaner or resoldering the switch. Thanks for watching and cheers.